the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 72, Joshua 3-5 The Staff and the Ark The Manna generation crossed the Jordan River, which was the first gateway to Canaan, on dry soil and opened the Canaan era with circumcision and by observing the Passover. First point, God implemented the miracle of the Red Sea with Moses' staff and the miracle of the Jordan River through the Ark of Covenant. Forty years ago, the Exodus generation had crossed the Red Sea by following Moses who obeyed God. Moses' faith and obedience meant that the people were able to experience God's miracles by crossing the Red Sea on dry land. Now, 40 years later, the Israel nation stood in front of the Jordan River. This time, there were 600 thousands of the Mara generation who had faith and the priestess who were carrying the Ark of Covenant on their shoulders. When the Exodus generation crossed the Red Sea, the sea had already split in half, and they were able to see the dry land beneath them. This time, the priests who were carrying the Ark of Covenant on their shoulders stepped into the water, and only then their paths started to appear. Second point. God raised Moses through the Red Sea and Joshua through the Jordan River. God praised both Moses and Joshua not for their effort, but for their faith. Forty years ago, God had praised Moses who led the nation through faith and obedience. After crossing the Red Sea, the Israel nation looked at Moses with awe. God had lifted Moses in front of the nation, and now God was lifting Joshua off in front of the people who led them to cross the Jordan River. Before setting out to conquer Canaan, God raised Joshua in front of the people as he had raised Moses. And so the people crossed the Jordan River with faith while following their leader Joshua. Third point, the first step towards the Mara generation's life in Canaan started 500 years ago with Abraham's circumcision and then Passover in Egypt. After crossing the Jordan River, the Israel nation now prepared for battle to conquer Canaan. But before doing so, they stopped to carry out circumcision which Abraham had started 500 years ago and also kept the Passover which had begun in Egypt. Despite the conquering of Canaan being right in front of their noses, God still commanded the people to keep Passover and to carry out circumcision. The first Passover was in Egypt, the second on Mount Sinai, and the third before conquering Canaan. They were unable to keep Passover for the first 40 years for three reasons. The first was because they were unable to offer burnt offering. The second was because they were eating manna and not producing crops. In other words, they did not have grain to offer. Third, they were unable to carry out circumcision in the desert, and those who were not circumcised could not participate in Passover. Fourth point, manna that fed the manna generation for the past 40 years was now stored in pottery inside the tabernacle. Before heading into Canaan, the people of Israel obeyed God's commands 
to keep circumcision and Passover. Now the people did not get manna from the sky and they were to start sweating for their food. With their efforts, they were to now offer to God the five offerings of burnt, grain, fellowship, sin, and guilt. They were to offer with a pleasing heart. The manna they had ate for 40 years was now stored in a pot priced inside the tabernacle. Fifth point, both Moses and Joshua put off the sandals to step on holy ground. When God called Moses, he told him to take off his sandals as he was stepping on holy ground. And now God told Joshua to take off his sandals as he was stepping on holy ground. As God had told Moses 40 years ago, this time he told Joshua in the same way. God installed great power in Joshua to help him with the tasks ahead. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tong Doc Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does, the way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tong Doc Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app.